Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Fantastic Insights, where we provide insights from some of the coolest people in franchising. My name is Alicia Visconti. I am the president and CEO of Franserve and Franchise Dictionary Magazine. Now, Franserve is the largest franchise consulting organization in the world. And our mission is very simple. We change people's lives through franchise ownership. And we do that through a network of incredible franchisors and franchise consultants, all who are dedicated to helping their candidates explore franchise opportunities. And today I'm excited. I have a new dad with me, Aaron Harper. He is the Senior Director of Franchise Development for the Patch Boys. So welcome, Aaron, to the show. Thank you so much, Alicia. I'm happy to be here. Well, I am thrilled to have you here. And, you know, we rescheduled this because you uh, became a new dad. So congratulations to that. And I'm so excited about the Patch Boys and being able to have you on the show. If you could share with our audience a little bit about the Patch Boys, you know, what it does and the traits that make your brand unique. Let's, I think, a good start for our audience today. Sure. Yeah, um, well, thanks for having me, and um, I'm happy to be here. The Patch Boys um, is the, the largest drywall repair franchise in the world, uh, owned by the Belfort Franchise Group, where we've got, you know, multiple brands that, you know, we've worked with you on as well, 1-800 Water Damage, Chem Dry, Ducks, and Hoods. So it's really exciting. The Patch Boys is the new guy in the family, um, and uh, what we do is we kind of do the drywall jobs that the drywall guys and the handymen and the plumbers and the electricians don't want to do. And, um, you know, our franchisees take an executive approach to the model. So they work on the business, not in the business. They're quoting the jobs, responding to the leads, but they manage a team of technicians and they send them out to do the work. Um, so, so what makes our franchise special? Um, we help with marketing because uh, um, Belfort Franchise Group has relationships with marketing companies that we've established over decades that we've used with different franchises that are in our system. And so we really were able to plug those into the Patch Boys. Um, And uh, so franchisees are typically, you know, doing jobs day one back from training. Um, We offer, you know, a four day intensive training process to kind of learn how to run this business from the ground up. And then after you, you know, you, you leave training, you've got a team of about seven dedicated people on the Patch Boys and then over 100 uh, uh, franchise support people at Belfort Franchise Group. Um, so we're committed to growing the Patch Boys um, more than it already has. It grew from zero to over 100 units in five years. And our plan is to just keep it going. And now we've got this big machine behind us. And um, we're really excited to kind of take it to the next level. Well, I thank you for that, Aaron. And you know that we love this brand. We are so happy to present it and have so many happy franchisees with the brand. Explain to the audience a little bit about your role with the company and how you came to be with the Patch Boys. Sure. Yeah. Um, I did development for the largest brand at Belfort Franchise Group for about three and a half years, which was Chem Dry. Um, and uh, I did, we brought in a lot of new franchisees to Chem Dry and the most by and large, franchisees I brought into the system were quite successful uh, in a quick uh, period of time. So the uh, COO of, of Belfort Franchise Group asked me to come and kind of head up development for the Patch Boys. Um, and so I stepped into the role right as we bought it, which was uh, June of 2020. And we started franchising, um, you know, got our franchise disclosure document by September. And since September, um, we've put uh, 32 uh, new franchises uh, in the system. Um, And so we're super excited with the growth. Uh, I think it's even blown away the president of Belfort Restoration, who was the one who bought this franchise. He's like, I didn't even think it could grow this fast. Um, So we're just going to keep on this trajectory and really just make it a household name within the next couple of years. We're in 23 states and the plan is to be in all 50 within the next 24 months. Well, that is awesome. And kudos to you and your team. And as I said, you know, we love lighting this brand up with you. You guys are just really awesome. Now you're talking about expansion. You talk a little bit about the states that you're in. And I know a lot of times when I ask this, I get everywhere, but is there, um, you know, markets that you're really looking to penetrate or is there are certain hot markets that you're looking for in terms of your expansion right now? Yeah. So Florida is pretty wide open. Um, 
there we opened a couple franchisees in Boca and in Fort Myers, but Florida was for some reason just kind of untapped for the last five years. And so really all the major markets you can think of in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Orlando, Tampa, like Jacksonville, wide open. So Florida is a really hot area for us to kind of target right now. Um, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina is open, um, which is uh, it's crazy. Salt Lake City is open. Um, there's a lot of other areas as well. A um, lot of good portion of Maryland is open. Um, New Jersey, there's some really good spots in like Middlesex County and uh, Monmouth that we really want to get sold. Um, and really, I mean, anyone that's interested in, 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 you know, kind of asking me things about specific areas, I know the map like the back of my hand. If you have the number that's uh, on there for me, that's my direct sell. It's the work iPhone that I do all my business off of. If you want to skip the territory check, you can just text me to my wife's dismay. I have it in my pocket at all times, <laughs> even when I'm giving the baby a bottle. So uh, it's it's. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of markets um, that are available um, and we can talk about them, but there's some ones we're specifically focusing on, yes. Super awesome. And I just wanted to point that out to the audience because, you know, you hear about explosive growth and you hear about expansion and I want people to realize there's, there's some wonderful territory that's available. So don't think that, you know, something that you have your heart set on is going to be sold out. You know, there's always opportunity. So that's great. You know, Definitely. let's talk a little bit about some of the traits that you look for in a successful franchise owner. What, what does, you know, makes a good patch boys franchisee? So yeah, good question. Um, first of all, someone who's willing to follow a system. Uh, we want someone who can come in and, you know, has experience in the background, but sees a system that's put forth by, you know, Belfour Franchise Group and is willing to follow it. Um, we do have a recipe for success. And if the franchisees just kind of follow the instruction manual we give, they'll be, you know, they have a really good chance of being successful. But from a background standpoint, you know, guys that have sales or um, managing a team, those types of experiences work really well. Customer service um, and, and experience, you know, retail, guys that were in retail for a long time, maybe management and retail, those guys do really well. Obviously, anyone in the in-home sales, construction sales uh, area. But I want to be clear. There is no like perfect, you know, type of person we're looking for. Really, we can train anyone on this. Um, we're not asking people to be drywall experts. In fact, I'd say 95% of the people who come into our network have never done drywall before. So, so we can really um, train you from the ground up, but really people who understand the importance of marketing, that's usually what sets aside the kind of the the slower starters from the rock stars who do half a million year one um, in revenue. So, um, so yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll give you the tools to do it, but that's, those are some traits that are definitely stand out to us for sure. Terrific. And Aaron, um, correct me if I'm wrong. You, you guys also have a veteran discount, right? Yes, absolutely. We love our veterans. Uh, speaking of following a system, those guys know exactly how to do it. So we, we love that. Um, we give 20% off of our, our license, the first license, which is takes a $5,000 discount off the first license. So it's great. That's awesome. And I, and I thank you for that. I'm very involved. I'm on the Vet Fran Committee for the International Franchise Association. So I'm very involved in helping veterans find That's their great. path for franchising. So I thank you on behalf of all of them for the discount. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, the least we, it's the least we could do. <laughs> I hear you on that. I hear you yeah. on that. So let's go a little bit deeper now, Aaron. Sure. Talk about one of my favorite hashtags on social media. I, I, I'm probably guilty of using this hashtags more than I do for my own companies, but I use the hashtag all the time of franchise strong when I post on social media. Okay. And for me, that's such a you know, it's such a, 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 a an epitome of what franchising is, right? The the community. And we call it the, you know, the franchise fam, right? You know, in terms of how everybody comes together, we certainly saw that through COVID and, and through the pandemic, how franchisors help their franchisees. Franchisees got together to help. Right. Um, even competitors, you know, join together to, to make sure that people move forward in their businesses and were successful franchise owners. So 
I'd love to hear what franchise strong means to you and to the Patch Boys. Sure. Um, I think when I hear franchise strong, I think about like the first thing that comes to mind is the community that we foster and develop at Belfort Franchise Group. So um, I think that's really what sets the Patch Boys aside from maybe smaller franchises that um, is, is that we've got this community of almost 6,000 franchisees and they all go to conventions every year together. They share marketing expertise. They share leads with each other. Like all of this stuff, because these different brands, they, you know, they overlap, but they don't overlap in, um, they're not doing the same services. They're kind of passing on different services. When I also think of Franchise Strong, I, I, I think that um, like in something that we experienced last year, for example, like that was totally unprecedented. And, and, and you know, for, for two months there, it was quite scary. It didn't matter what industry you're in, it was quite scary. So what we did as a, as a franchise is we, for the franchise I worked for prior is, is in March and April, we froze all fees. We didn't take anything. We said, hey, the, the, all of the people at the franchise took salary cuts. We all weathered the storm together. And I thought that was really like really special. It made me happy to be part of this company. So really just kind of, and then, and then the other thing I'll say is like supporting the network. I think that you know, one of the biggest fears for a buyer is I'm going to buy the franchise and then I'm going to be totally on my own. That is not the case here. You will have with the Patch Boys and really Belfort Franchise Group in general, the support of over a hundred different people who have different expertise in different areas. If you need help with, you know, marketing, we've got a director of marketing for the Patch Boys. If you need help with your software, we've got a dire director of operations who's going to help you kind of figure all that out. And then on top of everything, you've got the brand president, Ted Spears, who's excellent. And he acts as kind of like an ongoing business coach for the franchisees. So there's never a time that the franchisee will feel alone. So those are the three things that I think about when I think of Franchise Strong. I think that's awesome. And I, and I think, you, you know, you really summed it up very well. You know, the tagline of being business for yourself, but not by yourself, mm -hmm. right? We use that so much in franchising and you just really talked about from the Patch Boys to the Belfort. I mean, that, that's really the whole group that you have the power of that behind each and every franchisee, right? So that's, that's yes. an amazing factor for it. Agreed? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I, you know, Aaron, I want to thank you very, very much for your time. I know everybody's crazy busy uh, these days. Uh, I think the new normal is entrepreneurship. We're seeing tremendous, tremendous uh, excitement in franchise ownership. And the Patch Boys is one to definitely look at, everyone, if you're thinking about, a, a, I won't say easy, but a simple model that really can work for you for your future. The Patch Boys, we have done tremendous business with it. We really support it wholeheartedly. So, Aaron, thank you so much for thank your you. fantastic insights. And I just want to say, audience, thank you for your time. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our videos. And Aaron, any last words before we wrap up today? Yeah, just the last thing I'll say, just I, and I'll, com I'll compliment you guys again. You do a great job over there. And we are just honored to work with you and honored to work with your candidates and I just, and, and your consultants, it's just such a pleasure. It really just is. I love it. And I can't wait to continue to do what we've been doing so far. Well, thank you so much. And we'll, we'll be in person soon. And I know we all look forward to that. And I have to just say before we wrap up, have a fantastic day. Thank you.